The PI3 ACT signalling pathway plays a key role in the growth, survival and proliferation of cells. The activation of the pathway begins with the binding of an extracellular growth factor such as insulin. This causes the activation of a receptor tyrosine kinase. In its phosphorylated site, the RTK recruits PI3 kinase due to PI3 kinase having an SH2 domain. The PI3 kinase binds to the RTK, which phosphorylates and activates PI3 kinase. The activated PI3 kinase travels to the plasma membrane, where it phosphorylates membrane lipid PIP2 to PIP3. ACT and PDK bind to PIP3 due to having pH domains. PDK, now in close proximity to ACT, can phosphorylate ACT at one of ACT's two phosphorylation sites. At this point, ACT is partially active. mTOR C2 then phosphorylates ACT at its second phosphorylation site, fully activating ACT. When ACT is active, it can phosphorylate many downstream targets, for example BAD. When ACT phosphorylates BAD, BAD detaches from the apoptosis inhibitory protein and is inactivated. The apoptosis inhibitory protein can then stop apoptosis. Foxoproteins are a group of transcription factors that lead to the autophagy of the cell. Active ACT can phosphorylate and inhibit FOXO, stopping autophagy. The PI3 ACT pathway is important in disease physiology. Overactivation can cause excessive cell growth that can lead to cancers developing. Underactivation can cause diseases like sarcopenia, a muscle-wasting disease.